Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from Random Stuff Channel and this is a video to carry on from a similar one that I did last year. Not much has changed on my device um, uh, apart from the device itself, but I tend to have more or less the same kind of uh, setup as you can see here. So um, on this LG V30 uh, Plus um, Thin Q, as it's now called, it's the um, the actual South Korea variant, the H930 um, DS. Really, really pleased with it. It's got lots of uh, RAM, lots of uh, storage, dual SIM. Uh, everything works fast. I get really, really quick uh, 4G speeds uh, wherever I am in the UK. So I'm really, really pleased with it. In fact, I've actually removed my second SIM because I'm not really using it at all. And um, yeah, I haven't even put my, uh, my my actual SD card in there at the moment because 128 is more than enough. Okay, so on, on the uh, actual launcher itself, I use Nova Launcher, which has uh, uh, lots of capabilities, especially if you pay the small amount to, um, to get the premium version. So I've got um, things like um, uh, swipe action. So if I go up on the screen, for example, it goes into the app drawer. Uh, if I go down, it goes into my uh, settings, as you can see there. Um, if I do two fingers down, it does that. It goes completely down into the settings. If I go two fingers up, it goes into the same as one finger swipe up. One of the other ones that I've set up is the uh, tap, tap down. That means that you tap and then you tap and you go down without lifting your finger. So it's touching the screen effectively twice the finger only raises from this from the screen surface uh, once so you do tap tap down tap tap down there you go recent screens is shown so effectively it's the same as pressing the square button there okay it's just a quick way of doing it um, I also have um, uh, two three four I've got four pages on the last page I've got the uh, news uh, reel there at the bottom one, I have sport news. Uh, I have uh, an all goals application where I can follow all my football matches and, and, and leagues that I follow. And uh, at the bottom, I've got my Google Keep for my notes. Um, and that's got a lot of stuff in there and it supports multiple accounts as well. So I have different ones for different scenarios. So for example, I've got my work account one, I've got my personal one uh, and so forth. Um, then I have um, uh, YouTube from, from, from uh, you know, you just click on that, you go into YouTube. Um, then you've got some photo applications in here that I use. Uh, just a few games, I'm not really into games. And if I go onto this screen, this is where my calendar is, it's just that I've minimized it. Um, A Calendar Plus, um, the paid version is really 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 a great solution i've been wanting to move on to the google calendar for quite a while um i also love the the look of that and the uh, the icons and the uh, the images and the the way everything is uh, integrating perfectly with google but i still prefer this one because of the uh, the weekly view that i have on the widget is um second to none in my opinion so i really love that and to go with it um you can get the notes um uh, sorry the tasks that are synced as well with google show up um in a separate widget so i'm really really pleased with that in fact if i just um go into um sorry the widgets you see a calendar plus you have the a calendar and tasks you've got hybrid one you've got various ones that you can choose okay uh then on being um you know nova launcher is very customizable and one of the things that people wanted was the uh the google now so if i just swipe to the side i've got my google now feed uh there which is great and uh, obviously i've uh, customized it to the kind of stories that i'm interested in um you've also got the you press the button at the bottom like that and you go into the the uh, assistant how can i help you it's got all the all the uh, voice recognitions when it's turned off works perfectly um i've got the uh, eye uh sorry the face detection which is pretty fast not as fast as some other devices like the uh, oneplus uh, range and um 
uh, some of the other sort of um, Huawei's uh, and Honor phones are very quick as well I've heard uh, I've only had the Mate Pro the 10 Pro and that, that was pretty quick as well I think um, if I recall so um, on, on the main page here as you can see I've got uh, the weather uh, widget and if I just show you the widget that I actually use I've got so many apps here um, it's called weather and clock widget it is really really good There's lots of different widgets that you can choose different kind of um, information to display and once you're in it you can actually select the, the actual Sun there and you can choose the cities uh, what you're going to show you know what, what the weather is like in different different parts of the world um, and so forth um, you can also um, uh, have the uh, the clock show an app of your choice when you click on it so I've got things like a couple of um, alarms in there um, then I've got some apps uh, floating around there on that screen I've got my my Google uh, keep uh, sorry exercise app <coughs> <clears throat> what's it called it's actually over here so I have uh, yes Google fit as it's um, as you can see there I've walked 54 minutes today um, I've got the, the standard Twitter app Facebook I've got all the Google apps in in one place there that I tend to use so these are all pretty good um, I use almost every single one of them apart from playbooks and play movies uh, everything else I kind of have used and, and do use um, in my favorites I tend to put anything that I use quite often um, so as you can see there's a lot of uh, applications in there uh, the latest one that I've downloaded is the backdrops for the uh, uh, screen backgrounds in fact if I just launch it this is the app that I've used to to actually get the, um, the the background that I have on the device right now, which is this one here, Dust Till Dawn. Um, but it's, it's a really nice app. I've, I've I've had loads of these apps over the uh, the years. I still do occasionally put some of the other ones on. But if I, I show you how quick it is to just add one, you do get adverts, unfortunately, with that. But uh, if I just set that. You can't save it unless you're a premium, I believe, but I don't care about that. I can just set it automatically. So I can just come out of that now. And I've got that there. Don't know whether I really like this one, but uh, let's keep it for now. Um, I've also got the circle launcher widget in the middle there, which is this, uh, this icon here, where um, uh, basically you you have your contacts that come up in a, in a circle. It's called circle launcher very very good I've also got really um, actually let me let me go back to, to bad drops. I really don't like this um, this this background let's choose a different one and let's pick pick this one okay so that's uh, done let's come out okay it's a little bit better I probably will change it as well but um, if you if you look at the um, other apps here on the side I've got my maps apps here okay so as you can see I've got my Google Maps where I've got my Sigic uh, driving application I've got Google Google Maps I've got uh, Google uh, Street View. I've got some work apps there. I've got some music apps, uh, TV apps. Uh, I quite like uh, MX Player as the player of default. Uh, TV Catch Up here in the UK is pretty good. Netflix, which I also use. And then I've got my favorite inbox. And everything has double gestures. So, for example, down the bottom here, you will see I've got um, my uh, Yahoo Mail. And if I hit it upwards, it gives me Google Play. And every everything has a double action. I've got uh, Textra for my SMS, which is really, really good app. I really like that. 
Uh, I've got the Google Chrome beta version that I kind of use all the time. And WhatsApp, obviously, and the camera, which is absolutely amazing on this phone, as you all know. Um, being the, um, the thin Q now, if I just launch the camera just to show you, basically allows you to do visual searching on uh, Amazon. It, it, kind, it kind of tries to figure out what you're looking at and it tells you what it is. You'll have to look at some videos about this because I can't do that right now. Um, it lets you do visual searches. You can see it, it tries to, to figure out stuff. And then you've got, so you can scan a QR code. Um, what else to mention? You, you've also got different docks at the bottom. Again, everything on the dock has a double uh, function. So for example, um, where I have SoundHound, as you can see here, history. And if you go upwards, it should give you Shazam. It's not doing it right now, but I'll show you how to set it up. It's really quick, quick and easy. You go into edit, go to swipe action, go to apps, go down. As you can see the phone is really fast, no lag whatsoever. And Shazam. Ah, it's, I, I probably got rid of it then. Um, okay, I guess I'm not using Shazam anymore. But you get the idea, if I were to put, say, for example, Slack there, when I go up on that, I get Slack. And I'll delete that afterwards. Um, so, yeah, on on here, we've gone through that one. I've gone through these. I think that's about it, really. Um, the phone is super fast. I'm really, really pleased with it. As I said, there's not much that... Um, that can compete with this phone for me. The battery is really, really amazing. Um, you know, depending on how I use it. If I if I watch uh, content, you know, I can get six hours use, uh, even seven hours without any problems. If I use to if I use the device to um, watch content and and do nothing, and you know, throughout the whole day, you know, it will consume battery. I I would say an average of um, maybe. Uh, between two and four percent per hour drainage uh, with it not doing much but I do have like um, maybe eight different emails syncing at any one time on the phone I've got work emails in there um, working as well I've got um, lots of widgets as you can see on here um, there's the weather one up there I've got the uh, the battery uh, uh, icon at the top there I've got this small one here which is a redial service, which is a really fantastic tool when you want to call someone like a doctor where it's always busy. You, you turn that on and basically you, you have the app continuously redialing until someone picks up and it actually allows you to put the loudspeaker on as well. I've got, what, uh, I've got the Skype application on the top uh, left there as well. Um, and also I've got a great application called um, Should I Answer? Uh, should I answer is uh, is a really great application uh, as, as you can see it here somewhere mm, it's not in my favorites here but if I go up here go down put, put should there is should I answer that's the icon there's like an octopus highly recommended great app uh, now the one last thing now we'll just go through the apps that I've got installed I'm still a heavy user of apps I don't tend to delete many apps um, and as you can see here I've got a, a formation of five at the top by uh, one two three six going down 30 applications per page so that's the first page then I've got two three four five six seven eight nine so that's nine times 30 so that's 270 apps. That's almost 300 apps. That's a lot of applications. And um, I could delete some, but um, to be honest with you, I, I, ha I haven't had any issues to delete them. Everything is running smoothly. Lots and lots of applications. I don't use every single one of them, but I am familiar with all of them. And, and obviously, if I haven't got rid of them, is because I am kind of attached to them. That's it. This video has probably gone for too long. Um, I hope it's uh, been of interest to anyone uh, looking for ideas 
Uh, until the next one, cheers, take care, bye.